Hi guys! Recently I launched mini course with two lessons, where I covered raster and vector. If vector seems pretty clear, working with raster brought up some good questions. How can you create a whole scene with different states that are all visually consistent, prepare layer by layer, especially without any 3D skills? For this video I wanted to show a real example. I didn't generate any abstract image, I used real image from made.com website with real product. Before diving into the process, I have two key points here. First, Photoshop skills are really helpful, particularly in photo retouching. It's selection tools, brushes and color correction. Second, the workflow isn't a magic button. Forget one-click results, which is often what expected from AI. Think of it like a creative jam session. You communicate and experiment. I made this video to show real process, doped, and how playing around with different tools can get you there. I figure out some tricks by experimenting and want to share with you. Normally, in big commercial projects, companies have 3D artists who create all assets with perfect lighting and variations. That makes things easier. But this approach will be useful if you don't have a 3D team or maybe for experimenting for personal life projects or quickly mocking up idea before the whole team jumps in. For this project, my workflow looked like this. Started with image, removed text in Photoshop, generated variation. For it, I used Runaway, mostly for video generation to get specific frames, ChatGPT for generating new elements, and Magnific AI for upscaling and enhancing. Then I put it all back together in Photoshop, polished it with selection clone tools and brushes, created color correction. Ok, let me show each AI tool on practice. First, Runway. I mainly use video generation feature, even though I need static images. Why? because it's surprisingly good at removing elements or changing states, like turning light on off, and it keeps realistic lighting and shadows based on original image without any radical changes in style, like if I would generate one with ChatGPT directly. Runway allows saving video in 4K, which gives really high quality images to work with. So, I generate a short video, Find the perfect frame I need, save it as image, and then tweak it for my project in Photoshop. My process for removing the furniture here was a bit of exploration. I tried different prompts, sometimes asking a character to move things. For example, I tried getting a woman to remove this furniture. I ended up with two useful results. One where the right chair and yellow glass wall were gone, another where the left chair and woman disappeared. Yes, color might shift a bit, but that's easy to fix later in Photoshop with color correction. Also, small details might change, like shapes on the shelves. For perfect result, the plan is to combine the best part in Photoshop anyway. So. I took these two images into Photoshop and meshed them with my source image to hide women and chairs. Now I just had a table and two chairs left. Next step was removing the table and other two chairs. Sometimes my prompts get a bit silly, like asking the table to move away or fly away. Experimentation is key. At one point, I asked AI to move the table on the left, to make right side clean, and it just created a new table on the right. It can be funny sometimes. I generate lots of variation until I find something that works. What finally helped was asking Runway to collapse the table instead of moving it. The wall was clear, almost there. I took the clear wall section from that frame and layered it over my image with two chairs. Just table legs 
and rug left. I couldn't generate any variation to a clean rug, that's why I cleaned up around the rug area in Photoshop and leave it to recreate the rug using ChatGPT. With image generations like ChatGPT, I add new things and replace items. I asked ChatGPT to generate a new rug that would fit the stand. Here's what it gave me. A bit 3D, needed color correction and different from the original. But focus isn't really on the rug, so it worked. I cut it out in Photoshop, adjusted colors, did a little retouching, and it's ready. Looks pretty good. To get it even closer to the original, I actually cut out the some details from shelves in the original image. Passed them into my Clean It Up file and color corrected them to match. How I generated additional product variation? Let's take table example. I wanted to add a round table. So I uploaded source image to ChatGPT and asked it to replace the existing table with a round table. And I attached a photo of the table that I took from my.com website. It was my first result. I only needed the table itself. Even if the lighting and color aren't perfect yet, it looked pretty good in context of the scene. This helps me see how it fits in general. Then I iterated. Remove the woman and chairs. The AI might change light color with each prompt, but that's fixable later. It gave a good result but added a random ball. Remove the ball from the table because didn't want to remove it myself. This final result looks great. Pretty close, especially without 3D skills to model it from scratch. I even asked it to rotate a table slightly, change front view a bit to match the perspective of the original rectangular table better, and then ask it a larger size. In Photoshop, I flipped it horizontally because the lighting in the generation image was coming from the right, but it might stand the main light source is on the left side. I use the same approach for creating different sets of chairs too. Ok, last AI tool in the main workflow is Magnific AI. This sync is Advanced AI Upscaler and Enhancer. It can take images and seriously boost the quality and details, often upscaling them 2x4x or more. If image was generated from Runaway, ChatGPT or anywhere else and needs better quality or more sharpness and make it more realistic, Magnific is fantastic. But be aware, it can sometimes distort things or change the style in ways that might not be wanted. For example, here it made the shadow on the wardrobe look a bit too simplified. The key is to play with the setting before upscaling, try different options and decide how critical the small changes are for project. I often run frames I saved from Runaways from Magnific. AI video frames can sometimes be slightly blurry. Magnific helps sharpen them up and improve overall quality. I also use Magnific on the images I generated with ChatGPT. The chair set generated with ChatGPT looked a bit like 3D illustration, kinda toy-like. Running them through Magnific not only improves the quality but also gave them a more realistic style, helped them match it with my source image. Finally, everything comes together in Photoshop. This is where I take all pieces, the clean and background from runway frames, the new elements from ChatGPT, and layer them up. I do the final color correction, retouching, and make sure everything blends nicely to create the final image variation needed for my Rive project. And here are some of the final results generated using this workflow. So, that's my current workflow for using Runway, ChatGPT and Magnific AI to create raster assets. 
Its iterative process involves multiple tools and requires that final touch in Photoshop. It definitely takes some experimenting, but it's a powerful way to create custom visuals and variations, especially when 3D renders aren't available. Hope this was helpful. Drop any question or your own cool AI tips in the comments below. See you!